Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving from, well, we're going into Russell Heights now. We're turning off Barbican Road and going into Russell Heights. And we're going to drive from Russell Heights to Manor Park. Now Russell Heights is a residential area, very nice area. It's right on the out, on one end you have Barbican. We just turned off Barbican Road. And at on the other end you have Cherry Gardens and to the left of where we are now is the Ailsham area and you can actually enter Ailsham Heights from the, here within Russell Heights. As you can see very nice homes, very nice residential area and up ahead on the right now are some new apartments that were just built, some apartments, some townhouses very modern look very nice this is the new trend now where you buy a lot tear down the house on it and build apartments it's a very popular straight ahead is another complex on the right where that was done Another one, and there, okay, where you see that sign, that's a development that's going to be done soon, and then beside it, you have another one that's completed. So, the name of this road is the Russell Heights Road. I don't know to call it Russell Heights Main Road or just Russell Heights Road. And you can see you have Sleeping Policeman, which is also another popular trend in the residential areas. This is to prevent, prevent persons from speeding. On the left is Dewey Drive, very popular road in Graham Heights. Sorry, Rosa Heights. Now, there is so much indiscipline on the roads in Jamaica. People blatantly running a red light, people crossing the road at any spot they feel like, people stop in the middle road. You've seen the videos you see the kind of indiscipline. So another indiscipline you have is speeding. And it's not only on the main roads that are very straight that people speed. People speed through these residential areas also, which is very dangerous because you have a lot of corners and you have so many potholes. These roads, unfortunately, are not maintained very well. The government is more focused on the main roads now. And um, so these roads aren't being fixed right now. Or they're not maintained very well. Let's just leave it like that. So it's, they put in the speed bumps to prevent people from speeding. Call them sleeping policemen. Now these roads are what you call parochial roads. It's not the NWA that's responsible for them. It's the parish councils. So the St. Andrew the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, the KSAC, they would be in charge of fixing these roads, not the NWA. The NWA is only responsible for the main roads. So when people pay property tax, the property tax is supposed to be used to fix these roads. Now, I don't know what happens. I don't know if they're, but long story short, the roads are not being maintained properly. I don't know if it's a, I don't know, but here you can see some more sleeping policemen. We're now in the Cherry Gardens area. Now, sometimes the member parliaments, I don't know if they are allotted a certain amount of money to fix the roads or it's from their constituency fund or if they approached the municipal corporation to get funds to fix the roads. I don't know how it's done, but most times if you want these roads fixed, you have to go through the member of parliament for the area. And the NWA falls under the Ministry of Economic Growth. The parish councils fall under the Ministry of Local Government. And this is in terms of the entities that fix roads. And if you have a farm road, that road will be fixed through the Ministry of Agriculture. 
so there is no one entity that fixes that you can go to to fix one road basically you have three different ministries in charge of fixing roads now I'm not sure if that's the most efficient way to do it or I'm not sure I'm not going I don't know but if it's a main road you go through the Ministry of Economic Growth through the NWA agency if it's a parochial road it's the Ministry of Local Government through the Parish Council and if it's a farm road it's the Ministry of Agriculture through RADA so that's just how it is all right, so we're now in the Norbrook area, and Norbrook will lead us to Manor Park. These are actually some of the nicer areas in Jamaica. These are some of the top areas in neighborhoods, sorry. Top neighborhoods are areas to live in Jamaica. All right, so we're now on Norbrook Road, or Norbrook Drive, sorry, and that will take us to digging up this road and I'm going to bet that it's the National Water Commission there you go National Water Commission and you can let's see how they, the state they leave the road in when they're finished because we've had some very bad experiences according to Water Commission they don't travel with gravel Right, guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe have a good day oh sorry before we go this is we're now entering the manor park area straight ahead that orange building is the powell plaza it's named after general colin powell from the u.s his parents were jamaican which would make him a jamaican I think to become a Jamaican citizen, I think if your father is a Jamaican, you automatically become a Jamaican citizen. If you so choose to get the passport. Alright guys, so this is now the Manor Park area. 
Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.